Well, welcome to Once Upon a River Animal Show. Well, my name is Poshan. I'm a senior eco-ranger right here at the River Safari. So what do I do as an eco-ranger? Well, we have to always take care of the animals that we have around here and also the environment that they call home. So to be an eco-ranger, we always have to be alert and always look around and see what we can find. So when you look around, do you see any animals around? What? Behind me? There? No? Where? Oh, look! Wow, this is Rory. Well, he is a resident African great parrot. Well, everybody, you want to wave hello to Louie? Louie, you want to wave? Well, that's how Louie wave hello to all of you. Good job, Louie. Well, you know what? The African grey parrot, they are the largest parrot in Africa. And they are very, very smart. They're considered the smartest bird in the world. So for them, they can actually copy a lot of sounds, including words that we say. So let's demonstrate, okay? Well, Louie can actually say hello. Louie, you want to say hello? No, you want to say hello? Hello. You heard that? One more time, okay? Hello. Good job! Well, besides saying hello, well, Louis can also show all of you what other colour he does have on him. So besides grey, what colour do you see? You see behind? Well, that is a red coloured tail. So they do have a very beautiful red coloured tail. So besides that, well, Louis um, can do a lot of different things. He can say hey as well. Louis will say hey, 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 Louis, hey, hey. Wow, what a nice hello and hey to all of you. Okay, Louis, thank you so much for being with us. Well, thank you. Thank you. One more time, thank you. Thank you. Nice. Okay, Louis, thanks for being here. Okay, how about a nice bye bye to all of them? Bye bye. Bye. Good. Okay, bye bye, Louis, bye bye. Okay, now you want to join me right over here? Well, see, Louie is actually a very, very smart bird. Well, they can copy uh, hundreds and hundreds of different sounds. Uh, can you just see that? What is this? Bottle? Where did he come from? Do you know? Okay, never mind, it's okay. Um, I, I shall hold on to this bottle here, okay? And, okay, as I was saying, Louis here can actually copy hundreds and hundreds of different kinds of words. Well, how do they do that? Well, then, okay, I'm hearing a lot of sounds behind you. Okay, never mind, let's ignore that. Well, they copy a lot of different kinds of sounds. Okay, now I know who did it. It's actually Louis. Mm. These two bottles on the floor. You know what? I think I know why Louis threw these bottles at me. You know why? Well, that's because he wants me to tell all of you, do not litter. Okay, because these bottles are found in his home. Somebody litter into his home. So what must we do with these bottles? Recycle, that's right. Well, besides recycle, so what other two R's are there? That is recycle, reduce, and reuse. That's right. So later on, I'll share with you more about how do we reuse and to reduce plastic use. Okay? So, I don't think there's any recycling bins around. So I'm just going to keep this recycle these bottles with me by the side, okay? And later on, let me find a chance to recycle this. All right. Okay, so now, let me just continue. So now behind me, there's a big water pool, isn't it? Let's just imagine this whole water pool will take us around the world to find some amazing animals, okay? And I shall be your guide. So are you ready? Yes? Come, let's walk along the water's edge and see what we can find. Oh, look. Look, look at that. Look at that. See that? You see? Wow, that is a green iguana. Do you see the face right there? 
Well, the green iguana, it is actually a very, very big lizard. Well, they stay up high in the trees where they can eat tasty leaves as well as flowers. So besides that, why do we find spot right there? Well, the reason is because I think you must have met some danger. What kind of danger? Like fox and eagles, where he will try to avoid by jumping into the water and swim to safety. Well, let me just bring Spike closer to all of you, okay? And just come closer. Wow, you see him? He's huge, isn't it? Look at this. Well, do you know that iguanas, they have got three eyes. So where are the three eyes? Let's see. Let me show you. Two eyes over here. And the third eye is right at the top. Well, this is not exactly an eye, but a sense for shadows right above them. So when you sense for shadows like the hawks and eagles, that's where they will dive into the water. So you're just going to leave Spike to bask under the sun because that's where he loves to sit and get the heat from the sun. Okay, so now, children, so besides um, looking at Spike right there, so once again, do you remember what do we do as an eco-ranger? We protect the animals and we take care of the environment because this environment is also our home. So how do we do that? So as we go along, I will tell you how to do that, okay? So if you look behind right now, what is that? Well, that is a corn bill. See this? Well, this is sand, and sand is an oriental pipe corn bill. So, the corn bill, this kind of species is actually the smallest among the Asian corn bills. So, if you take a close look, come, come closer. You can see that they have got very beautiful eyes, right? Look at the eyes. And they've got very nice eyelashes. Well, such eyelashes help to protect the eyes as they're hopping into the trees where a lot of leaves that may hurt their eyes. So a lot of people ask me, what is that big thing on top? Well, see this big thing over here? Well, that is called the cask. Not many people know what is the function, but what we know is that this cask can make your voice louder. Okay, so that is probably the function of the cask. Okay, Sam, thank you very much. Okay, one last bit and bye-bye. Everyone will say bye-bye to Sam. Bye-bye. Okay, go on, Sam. Let's go. Well, as we are here standing with Sam, I can't help but to smell something that is very strong. It's not smelly. Um, I kind of like the smell, but it's something very strong. So I know that this animal is nearby. So what animal has got a very strong smell? And they're very noisy as well. So if you look into the water, the focus and tension right there, you see the animal coming out? Yes, that is an otter. Well, that is Tucker right there. And Tucker is an Asian small clock otter. Or well, they are the smallest among the 13 species of otters in the world. So this particular author, as what the name suggests, they come from Asia. And they do, you can actually find them in India as well. So what is Tucker doing right now? Well, it looks like he has caught a crab from in the water. And he's trying to hover the crab into the basket. Well, that's how strong he is, breaking that um, claws right there for the crab. So you see, back in the days, well, fishermen in India and Bangladesh, they actually keep otters like Tucker right there, who help them to harvest crabs and fish. So Tucker has got another ability because of his hands that are dexterous. Maybe you say that they have very good green. Well, Tucker can also recycle for all of us. So let's see how Tucker recycles, okay? Tucker, you gotta take the bottle right there. I think he needs some help. He has got short hands. Okay, now.
know, tackle products that bottle into the recycling bin. You know, so that's how you should recycle your bottles, plastic bottles, into a recycling bin like this. all the way to South America. So this animal is actually a very um, good swimmer, a fast runner, as well as an amazing jumper. So this animal you can see over there. Well, that is an agouti. Well, they're quite like a giant guinea pig, isn't it? But they're not. Um, they're actually, it's called an Azara agouti. Okay, Sarah, you can come right over there. Okay, let's get Sarah right up so we can see Sarah close up. Sarah, come up here. Good job. Well, take a close look at Sarah. You see that how she eats the nut right there? Well, the Azara Beauty, they are the only mammal that can actually break the Brazilian nut. Well, this nut is actually a very, very hard nut that no one can actually break it. No other mammal can break it except the agouti. So now take a close look. You see that? She does have got three toes and there are four toes behind. So they are always walking on their toes. So that gives them like a, a how they walk like a lady like this. Okay, Sarah. You can see how she uses her hands to hold on to the nut. You know, our booties, they do bury the nut if they have too much to eat. So sometimes when they bury, they may forget about the nut. So what happens is that they will actually leave the nut right there and the nut can grow into the trees. So they're kind of like a gardener burying all the seeds into the ground. Okay, Sarah, thank you very much. I think it's about time that you should go back. Come, Sarah. Let's go. Bye bye. Here, Sarah. No, get that right there. Come over here. Let's go. Bye bye. Okay, so now, everybody, let's find the next animal. Well, the next animal is. Let me give you some hints, okay? This animal moves from side to side. His tongue is always darting in and out. And besides that, the eyes never close. Make a wild guess what animal it is. You get it? It's a snake. Come, come. Right over here. I saw a snake and so somewhere right here. There is it. And oh, come. You see that? You see the snake? Or oh, this? It's a python, or well, this is what we call a royal python, or commonly known as the ball python. Why they call the ball python is because they can coil into like a ball when you're scared. So this is Nala right here, and pythons, they are constrictor, which means that they coil around their prey, they squeeze the prey to death before swallowing it whole. Well, let me ask you this. When I touch the snake, do you think the snake is smooth and dry or is it wet and slimy? Yeah, you got the answer? Well, for those of you who say that it's wet and slimy, you are wrong. They are not wet and slimy, but snakes are actually very smooth and very dry. So that's how they feel. Well, if you look at the head size over here, how big do you think the mouth can open? How big? Well, one time of the head size? Or is it two times? Three times? Four or five times the head size? Well, answer is five times the head size. Well, if you were to meet a snake in the wild, what can you do? Don't catch, okay? Always leave it alone. It will just go away. Okay, children? Okay, so now, what else 
And now let's go back to the waters, okay? You see this water over here? Imagine this water has got a lot of fish inside and lots of grass. So if you are lucky, you will be able to see this huge white bird. You know what kind of bird am I talking about? Yes, it's a great white pelican. Well, pelican, they are really, really big and they have a very big mouth. If you don't believe me, well, I'll have a look right over there because here comes our great white pelican. Well, those are, we have got Luke and Chewy right over there. So Luke and Chewy, well, they are a great white pelican. You can see that one behind. Wow, that is Chewy right there. And this is Luke. Well, the great white pelicans, they are so big. They are known to be one of the world's largest flying birds. You can see that when the wingspan stretches out, it can measure up to about 3 meters. So how big is 3 meters? Probably from right over there all the way to here is about 3 meters. And something distinctive about the pelicans is actually their throat pouch. So how about this? Let's get Chewy right here. It's okay. Let's see. Ah, maybe Luke wants to come right here. No? How about we go close to him? Okay, come. Join me over here. Come on. Let's go. Yes, yes. see the... Ah, okay. Here we go. Chewy, come. See this? Oh, right there. Now you want to go there. Okay, let's see hello to Chewy. Chewy, you want to sit down? You want to sit? Well, take this chance, take a look at the throat pouch. Come, see this throat pouch here? Yeah? Well, this throat pouch is very stretchable. Can you make a wild guess? How much water can this throat pouch contain? Well, that's about 13 liters of water. And that is equals to 26 bottles of Coca-Cola. It's really, really big, right? So besides that, you can see that Chewy is so big. Can you make a wrong guess? How heavy is Chewy? 20? 30? Answer is only 10 kilograms. So why are they so light? Well, the reason is because there are a lot of air spaces between the bones and the skin. So that gives them the light weight to be able to fly very long distances and also to be able to float on the water surface and swim to catch fish. Okay, so now that we've seen one of the world's largest flying bird, how about now you go and meet up with the world's largest rodent? Come, come, come right here. Do you see them? No? Are they here yet? Look who's there. Well, that is a capybara. And that is Mo right there. Come on, Mo, come here. Well, the capybara, they are the world largest rodents. And they're considered as a semi-aquatic mammal. So what is semi-aquatic mammal? It's just like an otter. They can swim. Um, and they can walk on the ground as well, so they're both comfortable walking on land as well as swimming in the water. So this is more right here. And the capybara, they're able to swim. So let's see their feet. You can see that they have got the sunny red feet. You can see that? It helps them to swim, to paddle in the water. So that is something that is unique to the capybara. So they are the largest rodent, so that means that they have got very big teeth. Come and see this. You can see that he has got very, very big teeth that is always growing non-stop. You see that? So how do they wear down the teeth? Is by chewing on wood or eating food that is relatively hard for them. Okay, so what 
else about the capybara? Well, you can see that the nose, the eyes, and the ears are all on a straight line. So that helps them to be able to hear, to see, and to smell for any potential danger. So what are the potential dangers? It's like animals that want to eat them, so they can hear, see, and to smell up for them. So this is a capybara, thank you very much. Well, the capybara and all the animals, all the other animals are amazing, isn't it? So that is why we have to play a part by taking care of these animals as well as the environment. So how do we do that to take care of the environment? Well, first of all, remember about the recycle. You must always recycle plastic waste, isn't it? And do not litter. And besides that, we should also use bags like this. Okay, what's this? This is a reusable bag. So a reusable bag, so you stop using plastic bags. You use bags like this to go for shopping. Okay? And besides that, when you take away food, you can use containers like this to take away food and not use plastic containers. And lastly, very, very important, do not use straws. But if you really need to use straws, what can you use? Either you use paper straw, or stainless steel straw, or bamboo straws like this. Okay? But please, try not to use any straw. You can just use a cup and drink from the cup. Okay? So with that, thank you so much children for being with us. Hope you enjoy the animals as much as I do. So hope to see you here at the River Safari Singapore. Okay? Thank you. Bye-bye.